Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello guys and welcome back. The First Lady has often been described as adopting a more settled and quiet routine since arriving at the White House. According to the Washington Post, the First Lady even sleeps in a separate bedroom to her husband and the two have very different routines. The President's Day reportedly kicks off with him getting up around 5.30 a.m. and watching cable news shows. Friends of the Trumps revealed Melania wakes up later in her own bedroom. The First Lady then reads their son Baron for school, including checking to make sure his homework is in his backpack. According to several insiders who know the couple's schedules, the two are often apart during their free time. While at Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort on holiday, the President golfs or dines on the patio with politicians, business executives and media personalities. Melania, on the other hand, is often nowhere to be seen. Current and former aides claim the President and the First Lady do not eat together in the White House either. A lifelong friend of Trump said they spend very too little to no time together. Despite this, Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham claimed Melania and her husband do spend time with each other. She said, aside from the President's solo trips, the family spends most evenings together. She also added how Melania is focused on being a mom. The White House official said she's focused on being a wife and she's focused on her role as First Lady. And that's it, the rest is just noise. Another senior White House official refused to comment on the couple's separate schedules and bedrooms. During Trump's campaign, Melania revealed to the Washington Post she and her husband are very independent. She added, we give ourselves and each other space. After several awkward and memorable moments, speculation rose over the couple's marriage. Moments include Melania sweating her husband's hand away on a tarmac and being caught several times seemed to resist his outreach. The Washington Post claimed it was striking how the Trumps make so little effort to project a more united front. In defense of the First Lady, her friend Stephanie Winston Volkov said, She's a dignified private person and she'll deal with her personal life in private and it's no one's business. They're not that couple that holds hands just because. She's old world European and it's not who she is. Another awkward moment occurred for the couple on Melania's birthday last year when Trump called into Fox and Friends. Thank you so much for joining us and see you again next time. Bye. Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.